Rabbi David Kay at Congregation Ohev Shalom in Maitland, Florida. Yesterday, we welcomed the new Jewish month of Nisan. The new moon at the start of the spring means Passover is only two weeks away. Of course, the highlight of the celebration of the week of Pesach is the Passover Seder. More Jews worldwide attend a Passover Seder than any other Jewish ritual observance. It's the heart and soul of our Passover memories, too. The time when family gathers, when friends celebrate together, when communities join in commemorating the defining event of our people's history, the redemption from slavery in Egypt. With social distancing, self-isolation, and shelter in place, our sedarim this year are limited to the people in our own households. For some of us, that will thankfully be two, perhaps even three generations. For others, like Joe and me, it'll just be the two of us. Yet for some, it will mean being alone. So we're encouraging everyone to be a part of a virtual Passover Seder this year. Here are some ways that you can do that. First, I want to let you know that Joe and I will be hosting an Ohev Shalom virtual Seder on both the first and the second nights of Passover via Zoom. Even if you've never used Zoom before, you can join us on any smartphone, laptop, tablet, or desktop computer, as long as it has a camera, microphone, and speakers. You'll be able to see and hear everything and everyone. You might want to use these next two weeks before Passover to find out if you have the right hardware, and if you need to get anything, you can track it down. To join in with Zoom, all you'll need to do is click on the link that we'll be sending you next week. Other synagogues and Jewish organizations in town will also be offering virtual sedarim or referrals to where you can find them. The Jewish Federation of Greater Orlando is planning a virtual Seder on the first night of Passover. Or you can do your own virtual Seder, connecting with your family and friends online from your own home. The Jewish Federation of Greater Orlando is offering a class on how to host a virtual Seder Tuesday, March 31st at 6.30 p.m. You can find out more about this class, the Federation's First Night Seder, on the Jewish Federation of Greater Orlando's Facebook page, or go to jfgo.org and click on Virtual Events Online Learning. Many of you have also expressed concerns about preparation for Passover. Where can I get kosher for Passover food? Will there be enough of it? What if I can't travel from store to store like I've done in previous years? What if I'm elderly or infirm or disabled and I can't handle all that cleaning and koshering by myself? Well, Passover preparation can be challenging and stressful, but it doesn't have to be. Especially when we're in this Shat HaDachak, when we're in this time of extraordinary urgency and potential danger, Judaism not only allows us to be more lenient in ritual matters, it requires it of us. We should not put ourselves or others at risk of trying to be more diligent about Passover preparation and observance. Each year, Ohev Shalom prepares a booklet of Passover tips. This year's booklet, the link for which was emailed to our congregation, along with a link for this video, includes important information specifically for this year and the extraordinary circumstances of COVID-19. You can also find that link to the booklet on the homepage of the Ohev Shalom website, ohevshalom.org. Shabbat begins in a few hours, a respite from this past week, a week that seems like it was so much longer than seven days. As we did last week, your Ohev Shalom family will be here with you from candle lighting to Havdalah. Our virtual Shabbat webpage has all the information and all the links you'll need to join Amy and Eric Geboff this evening at 6.30 for welcoming Shabbat together, candle lighting, Kiddush, and Hamotzi. All of that's on Facebook Live. For Arab Shabbat services at 7.30 on live stream and Shabbat morning services tomorrow, Saturday at 9.30 a.m., as well as virtual Havdalah with Joe and me at 8.30 tomorrow evening. 
all on live stream. You'll find everything you need at ohavshalom.org slash virtual Shabbat, all one word. As I mentioned earlier this week, at services this evening and tomorrow morning, we'll celebrate the bar mitzvah of Andrew Spector, the son of Shira and Brett Spector. Only the immediate Spector family, Cantor and me, will be present in the building tonight. Tomorrow morning, two other people who are needed for the service will join us. We have consulted with experts to make absolutely certain we're doing everything we should to comply with the CDC and public health guidelines and with the Orange County Emergency Executive Order. As you'll see, we will take out the Torah and read from it tomorrow morning, but we've made some important adjustments to ensure that everyone is safe and well. This is our second virtual Shabbat together. We're all having to learn how to live in this radically altered reality. Already, in fact, the world seems like a very different place. But I promise you, one thing has not changed and will not change. Ohev Shalom is here for you. Hinei ma tov umanayim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. How good and how pleasant it is when friends can sit together in ease and at peace. May we all be able to sit together very, very soon. Stay well, stay safe. Shabbat Shalom Umivarach. May your Shabbat be a blessed and a peaceful one.